everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a review on the Pacifica Tiger's Eye Hemp Infused Eyeshadow Palette. If you do want to see a review and a demo, please keep watching. I did also film the Pacifica Pink Nudes Eyeshadow Palette, but I ended up accidentally deleting it. I created an entire eye look using this palette and it didn't turn out that well. The shades in this palette are very ashy. I only liked these four shades here. I can show you quick swatches. I do want to show you quickly what those four shades look like. Here's a closer look on those four shadows. The other six shades in the palette were very ashy. I'm going to quickly swatch these six shadows as well so you guys can see. can't barely see that first one. And the second one is very ashy. These two shadows. It's not a cute look. I'm going to show you the last two shadows in the pan these two shades look like. I didn't like this palette at all. I've used it a couple of times since I filmed this over a week ago. This palette retails for $17.99 at Target. $17.99. Yes, you heard me correctly. It's formulated without parabens, phthalates, talc, or mineral oil. Maybe that's why the price is super high, but you guys, the swatches, it is not that great. Here's what the 10 shadows look like, and I only like the first four shadows. The reason why I'm mentioning this palette is because we might incorporate this palette with the Tiger's Eye palette. I do also want to show you guys the packaging of the palette. It's not that great. It's just a plain cardboard box. For $17.99, I would expect a little bit more, at least a mirror. The Tiger's Eye palette retails for $9.99 at Target. Let's go ahead and open this up. Here's a closer look on what the packaging looks like. It says Pacifica Tiger's Eye. These are supposed to be hemp infused eyeshadows. These are 100% vegan and cruelty free. On the back, you do have the shade names and then some of the ingredients. Let's open this up. Here's what the actual eyeshadow palette looks like. Again, I love the packaging. It's so cute. Look at the back. It's adorable. Now this eyeshadow palette does have three matte shadows and three shimmer shades. I don't like how the pan side looks. I much prefer the square pan. One thing I immediately noticed about this eyeshadow palette is that they do have the names printed near the shadows, whereas this palette it doesn't have any names printed. This is a step up so far. I'm impressed. This shade is called Tiger. See, I don't like how it's shaped because I can't even put my finger in the pan. Here's what Tiger looks like. It's a decent swatch. Below the shade in Tiger, we have the shade in Incense. Again, it's really hard with the pan shape to dig in. Here's what Incense looks like. A little bit more pigmented than Tiger. Here's what incense looks like. I love that chocolate brown shade. The second shade in the top row is called Pebble. Here's what Pebble looks like. It looks a little bit ashy to be quite honest. I don't like that shadow. Below Pebble we have the shade in Goldstone. Goldstone is very soft in the pan. The other shadows weren't as soft. Here's what Goldstone looks like. I love that shimmer. Here we have Goldstone. Ooh, that's very pretty. The third shade in the first row is called Smoky Quartz. Again, very soft in the pan. Here's what Smoky Quartz looks like. Another gorgeous shimmer. I really do like that. The last shade in the palette is called Sandstone. It's a matte shadow. Here's what that shade looks like. It's not my favorite shadow in the entire palette, but I do like the other five shades. Here's what all six shadows look like on the back of my hand. Now we're gonna create a look using this palette. Taking a fluffy brush, we're gonna dip into the shade Pebble. We're gonna be applying that all over the crease. I do wanna see if this shade applies ashy. It does. If anything, I'm just gonna cover it up with one of the dark chocolate shadows. I'm not a huge fan of this shade, so I'm gonna be taking the shade in Tiger. We're gonna be applying that in our crease. I'm gonna attempt to cover this up, try to mix it together. That's a little bit better. I'm going to be doing the same thing for the other eye. Taking pebble, running that in our crease, doing windshield wiper motions, and then we're going to apply tiger on top. I'm 
I'm not really loving how that turned out. I'm gonna take this brown shadow in this palette. I'm not sure what the name is because there's no names. I'm taking a little bit of that on my brush. I'm going to run that in our crease as well. It's gonna look a little bit darker, a little bit smokier than expected. I'm not loving the look. I feel like I have too much browns. Looking kind of muddy. I'm just gonna be using my damp beauty blender to kind of go around it a little bit. Clean up the edges. One thing I do like about these palettes is that there's no fallout. Going back into my pink nudes palette, we're gonna dip into this shadow. We're gonna try to see if we can soften out the crease a little bit. I guess it's looking a little bit better. I'm not in love with it, but let's apply another shade on top. Taking a flat brush, we're gonna dip into the shadow Goldstone. We're getting a little bit of fallout. Do you guys see that? We're getting a little bit of fallout when I dug my brush in there. This is why I'm not a huge fan when brands do have weird pan shapes. They should just be square, make it easier for all of us, right? We're gonna be applying that all over the lid. I do wanna wet my brush just to see what it looks like. We're gonna dip back into Goldstone. Oh yeah, that's way better. Just packing this all over the lid. I need a mirror in this palette. I don't need clear window, I need a mirror. I'm just gonna be taking my little up close mirror that I have in front of me. This shadow does have a little bit of fallout. Again, we're just gonna be applying this all over the lid. I'm gonna just dip my finger in here if I could. I'm just applying this on the lid to see if it'll make a difference. I feel like I have more control of the shadow in Goldstone using a brush than my fingertip, so I'm gonna go back using my brush. Let me just wet this a little bit more. It looks better in my opinion. I'm gonna be taking another flat brush. We're gonna dip into the shadow Smoky Quartz. We're gonna pop this in the center of our lid didn't really do much. I'm gonna swap my brush for a smaller pencil brush. We'll just apply the shade in our inner corner. Okay, that's better. I'm getting a lot of fallout with this shadow. I'm gonna be taking a clean fluffy brush and I'm gonna go over the shadows. They still feel like it's still too harsh. That way I can pick up some product. I went in using the shade in Incense just on my outer V just to add a little bit more depth. I'm not sure why I did that. It didn't really make a difference to the look. I do want to apply a little bit more of the shadow in Goldstone in the center just a little bit. Goldstone has a ton of fallout. I went ahead and I applied mascara and a lip for mascara. I use my L'Oreal Unlimited Mascara. Lips I currently have on the ColourPop Lippy Stick in the shade Daydream. Here's what the final look looks like. My final thoughts on the Pacifica eyeshadow palettes is that I don't like them. This palette was way too ashy for me. I didn't like how the shades blended. I was getting the same vibe from this palette. I do like how these shades did swatch on the back of my hand, but I don't see myself reaching for this palette. This is $9.99. This is $17.99. I just wouldn't recommend it to you guys. There are other brands at Target that are more affordable, that are more pigmented. If you guys have tried these palettes, please let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. If you guys did enjoy this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. I will see you guys in my next video.